Hi, I'm Hall History Nerd and welcome to a special edition of Old Yorkshire. And it's special because this edition ties in with the history of Hull Docks episode one. Namely, we're going to expand on the history of Mews Abbey. Because without Mews Abbey, there wouldn't be a Hull. Or indeed a Holderness the way that we know it today. Okay, moving on. The theme tunes, theme tunes. We're going to have the credits. We're going to have the credits. Ooh, yeah. Hi, I'm Hall History Nerd, and I'm really wet. Hi, I'm Hall History Nerd, and welcome to the first episode. Oh, I've got my glasses on still. I am an idiot, aren't I? You're such a buffoon. Can't believe it. Mm, yes. The whole area of Holderness had been occupied for a very, very long time. There's lots of evidence of, for instance, of, ooh, blimey, I'll start that one again, shall I, at this time, not slipping. Holderness was habited by human beings by as early as the Bronze Age, because we've seen Flamborough's Danes Dyke, and numerous other prehistoric monoliths, like uh, the ones at Rudston. The one at Rudston. I, I walk a long way, don't I, when I'm talking. I've just noticed that. I just kind of wander around. I can't just stand in one place. I'm just a wandering fool. Start again. Okay. Slight detour to the side to get across the crossing and also down the newer station walk, which connects the rest of this snicket with the old part. No. Oh. and they formulated a rebellion called the Pilgrimage of Grace in 1536. By 1537, the pilgrimage had been destroyed by the Henry VIII's... The Henry VIII? Yes, the definite article, of course. The Henry VIII. But jumping forward in time a little bit, the first actual evidence of human occupation we have here goes to the big but... Uh, uh. The Normans may well have seen that and gone, yep, that's a good place for a defensive mo d d the Archbishop under the whole feudal thing where minor lords would owe fealty to bigger lords and so forth. It was held by a knight called Sir Richard de Verley, who basically, we suspect, may have d d d d washed his underpants here or something. We just don't know. We just don't know. There's no way to know. This area. It wasn't called Castle Hill back then. It was known as Manor House, which suggests that... No, no it did. It was Mansion House. Do that again, you naughty boy. But annoyingly for Edward, war broke out again between 1843 and 1845. Did it? Did it really? Let's just check the little magic book of facts. Mmm. It was 1343, I got it right. But the whaling industry in Hull was dealt another hammer blow when Charles I did some stuff that wasn't good. He was a dick, he looked like a spaniel anyway. And forcing it to grow, me, 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 me. Oh, I got possessed by a sheep, sorry, hang on. And if you go that way, it links up with the modern Hull and Selby line. Just across there on that bridge, that is the newer track that was built to connect Paragon Station to the rest of the Selby line. That was amazing timing. I could not have done that better if I'd have tried. <laughs> Thank you, train gods. Thank you. 